What is going on, everybody? Welcome to a special edition of the Friday, uh, the Friday, oh, sorry, the special edition of Roby Tech in general. We usually don't stream on Saturday, but for the next couple weeks, we will have Saturday streams. Just making up for my unhealthiness. It's funny, it's, it's just so funny I would say that right after BMOC. I remember BMOC is like just one of those people who was like, Wobbly Tech, wow. You, I, so it's funny, I was you're calling me Wobbly Tech. Just got finished watching like the latest episode of the, um, the latest episode of uh, Great British Baking Show, and they were doing caramel, uh, like they were doing caramel, and they were talking about wobbly. So I just think it's funny that that was that. Uh, anyway, uh, I just, you know, Bmock, who was one of those people who just was like Roby. You know, we just want to see consistency and all that sort of stuff, which I think I, I would hope you guys would agree is a whole lot better. I, there's nothing I can do when I get sick, but you know, I wanted to make up for the stream. So we are here today, building an absolute, you know, for lack of a better term, banger of a build. Absolutely crazy in terms of parts and at the same time also uh, just in terms of, um, you know, different because it's gonna be all but the GPU will be completely, <laughs> all but the GPU will be completely blacked out. So it's, it's I, I'm, I'm excited about it. I turned up the lights a little bit brighter so you guys can see a little bit better. And then of course, we've also got uh, the new wand from uh, GVM as well. So uh, that, it's gonna be a fun stream. Uh, we're gonna have a good time. Uh, I wanted to give an update because I, I told you guys we'd get an update on a pretty consistent basis. Last last Thursday was a bonkers stream, uh, and I really appreciate you guys coming and supporting and sponsoring and support. Sorry, coming and supporting GVM, uh, us getting to show off the lights and saw all that sort of stuff, which was actually super super cool. Um, but I, you know, we had like 200 subs. Um, and the sad thing was is that of the 200 subs, only like 31 or 33 of those uh, ended up being towards Partner Plus. So I did some digging in and to get more help because again, we're trying to hit Partner Plus. It's like in the top 1% of all Twitch streamers. Um, and uh, you know, it's, it's the goal that we as a community are basically working for. It's, it's, I mean, it's a huge thing. It's an honor to be there. It gives us more, it gives me more visibility. It gives me a better rev share. It does a lot of things that will eventually help everybody who, who you know, as our community gets bigger and all that sort of stuff. So a couple things about how that works. It needs to be tier one, tier two and tier three reoccurring subs. So we are currently at 106 uh, of 350 points. So like a tier one reoccurring sub is worth one point, a tier two is worth three points, and a tier three is worth six points. So again, if we got like 63 tier three subs, then we would be absolutely done. If we got, you know, if we got like 180 or 100, 175 tier twos, then we would basically be finished just kind of the way that the whole thing works. So it's a little bit different than we expected. I always appreciate, again, gifted subs, all that stuff. All of that goes towards winning uh, uh, PCs and all that kind of jazz. But if you could find it in your hearts, obviously, to do a tier one reoccurring sub, I just need an you know another 140 something-ish more people to basically do it. Uh, you all have to do it for three months and you can turn it off, that's totally fine. Uh, you know, it's just like $21, I think is what it comes down to. But it unlocks a lot of potential here for the Roby Tech team and I, I can't do it without you. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update on that. That is what's going on there. We'll do another one a little bit later, but I just wanted to let you guys know how it's going. Again, huge shout out to BMOC for the tier three. That's huge, that's six points right there. Uh, uh, obviously, Icy Sniper doing tier one, so that's amazing. It gives us a tier one then. Uh, oh, sorry, the Prime doesn't count, my bad. But Icy, thank you very much for the Prime sub. And then Switch Bob doing tier one in one month, that gives me a, a point. So those are the things that we're doing, just asking for a little bit of additional support. Thank you for that. Uh, I also want to update you guys, on Monday, we will show off that brand new Spider-Man PC. That is the one that is up for grabs for the month of November and December. I decided, you know what, after just kind of the chaos of trying to explain it, if you are a sub, you're entered. You're basically, all you got to do, even if it's a gifted sub, fine, you're in. You're in it to win it and all that sort of stuff, right? We just, I don't want to make it complicated. And then, of course, Prime subs, you're automatically always, those always count. So I'm sorry about that. We're just trying to help. I think I, I had my mind stuck on the goal. And really what I wanna do is just make sure that we're giving amazing stuff away from the, for the community as well. So there's that. What giveaways are we happening? How, what giveaways are happening here on the show today? Well, first and foremost, if we get 250 likes over at YouTube, which thank you very much, Kurosaki, for making that happen, head on over to youtube.com slash Live. Hit that thumbs up button. 250 likes, we give away a $25 new gift card. If we get a level five hype train, we give away a $25 new gift card. If we get a level 10 hype train, we will give away $100 just cash. So $100 in any way that you essentially want it, <clears throat> that's all we gotta do. <coughs> is get to level 10. We did that on Saturday. I mean, on Thursday was awesome, but I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one going. 100 bucks, 
whatever you want. It doesn't, it could be Amazon, it could be Steam, it could be Venmo, it could be PayPal, whatever, we'll give away $100 for that. $50 sub, 50 subs, $50 new a gift card. And then of course, then if we get all 350, the moment we'll get 350, then we'll be giving away an Intel Core i9-14900K in month one. Once that unlocks, if the month two, we'll be giving away a 7950X3D from AMD. And then in the third one, we'll actually be giving away a 4080. That'll be the 4080 will be the giveaway for uh, the very last one. Plus we'll be doing a Twitch special edition PC that we'll be giving away as hitting partner plus. So those are kind of all the prizes going on there. Plus we also have the PC giveaway. It's a Spider-Man special edition. You're gonna see a link to it for the video. You guys go can go see it. It's featuring the um, Zotac 4070 system. And then you'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to enter to win that. That is as long as you are subscribed in the month of November and December. Um, let's see, try to see what else is going in there. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, I had a, I had a little bit of an illness. Obviously, I you know it's funny. I was I was basically at a children's event. Uh, you know, basically they had a they had a fourth and fifth grade game night. I'm one of the hosts and uh, the the leaders there. And I screamed a lot because I was I was basically emceeing um, I was emceeing laser tag, and so I've lost a little bit of my voice. The insider just went out via email. So thank you very much to Tom for that. And again, you guys are all rock stars. I really appreciate you. Any questions? Did I miss anything? If not, we'll start talking about parts. There is no, so there's one thing here. There's not gonna be any gameplay benchmarks today. Main reason being is that this is gonna be a build. You'll see it, it'll look just the way it's supposed to when it's done. But unfortunately, the 4090 overclock from Strix is coming on the 16th. So we're gonna put a 4080 in there, which isn't the, the correct uh, GPU. But if we do a build release, we'll actually show you some uh, some overall benchmarks and stuff like that. We will do thermals because this is a this is a all about performance PC. Uh, and then we'll, uh, you, but it'll look the way it's supposed to at the very end. But we're just gonna show thermals and no gameplay benchmarks today. So that's what it is. Sergeant Nobody, you're a rock star. There's six points right there. We're at seven points. We've done seven, guys. So that's already what we're trying to do. How many points can we get? And then, Blondie, if you could pay attention, tier one subs, tier two subs, and tier three, uh, let me know how many points we get at the end. If we do something like we get like 100 points or something like that, I'll, I'll do something awesome and, and give something away as well. And she, all she's got to do is tell me. I'll find something uh, in the back and we'll give away. Maybe we'll give away a 7800X3D or something like that. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. 7600X, something. We just got to get it. Build mats are coming uh, in the month of December. They will be live and make sure that you have them in time to get them for Christmas. So we'll have new build mats uh, coming out. Our order just went in. They're going to take until... Uh, the beginning of November. So yes, they are coming back. Uh, so we wanted to make sure those were out before Christmas. So those are coming too. Um, don't point out my gift. I see how, it, oh, Nijia. I did, sorry, my bad. Thank you very much for the gifted sub. I'm doing good, DJ All Master. Thank you very much, very much for that. I'm doing very well. Anything else that I missed? If not, we'll start talking parts and get going. Everybody, who's excited about today's build? Who's excited? I know BMOX excited, which reminds me, I need to jump on the, uh, on the, the old chat, see if any, Text join us. Uh, Blondie, I wasn't prepared for that, so we'll have to do that on Monday. Hey, there they are. What's up, guys? How you doing? We got Icy joining us today, too, huh? Maybe. I'm here. Okay, what's up, guys? Oh, cool. Well, there, I'm glad to have you here. I don't think we've ever had you in chat before, have we? Oh, once before. Okay, well, there we go. Well, welcome, buddy. Um, I'm trying to go to Elgato's Wavelink. I want to turn you guys up a little bit in my ears. You're a little bit quiet. Everybody, you guys can hear them okay, though, in chat, uh, in terms of volume and stuff like that. You guys hear them? <clears throat> okay, let's talk about what we're doing in today's build. Here it is right here, guys. This is the parts list for today's build. It's, it's BMOX going to be very excited. It's a Ryzen 9 7950X. Unfortunately, he did not want, I did actually ask him if he wanted a 7900XDX to save some money, he said no. Uh, Asus ProArt X670E Creator Wi-Fi. Uh, graphics card, we have the Asus RG Strix NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 Overclock is what is actually gonna be in there. We have six terabytes of storage from WD Black, the SN850X, a go-to. Uh, no RGB RAM, G-Skill Flare X, Five, 32 gigs of DDR5 at 6,000 mega transfer. For the case, we got the Lian Lee 011 Dynamic Evo XL in black. 
for the cooler, the EK Nucleus AIO CR360 Dark uh, is what we're gonna be using there. And then for the power supply, the brand new, this is a new, I'm actually very excited to open this up, the Asus RG Strix Aura Edition 1000 Watt. It's their first uh, PCIe 3 uh, PSU. Now guys, if you don't remember, we did that Thor, uh, sorry, that, um, that tough 850 watt and the cables on that thing are so sweet. Uh, and so I'm very excited from a cable management standpoint um, to actually, uh, from a cable management standpoint, to actually see how this whole thing comes together. Thank you very much, Bloody Creepy, for the resub. Tier two, that's three points, I believe. And so there we go, man, we're, we're, we're on our way over there. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see how this was. Now, in terms of fans and stuff like that, that's the only thing I wanna let you know. Everything that we're putting in here is all Noctua. So we got NFA 14s for our airflow fans, and NFA, uh, NF F12s, for our uh, fans that are going on the AIO, though I don't know, I don't know BMOC and IC if you have any opinion. I don't know if the NF-A12s are gonna be a whole lot better than the Noct two than the fans that come with the EK um, AIO, because I actually think their fans are actually really good. I don't know if you guys heard anything, any thoughts? <clears throat> they have no thoughts. He has to look at it. Yeah, that's what I remember too. I actually think they were actually really good fans. So, <clears throat> guys, we're so close to a hype train. If somebody could just do 200 points, whatever it was, there it is. Hype train is active. Okay, so he'll take a look at those. Um, but yeah, I've, I've actually heard good things about the um, about the um, uh, about the uh, fans on EK Water Block AIOs. Uh, so I think they'll actually be good. It'd be one of those things to test. I know we have done the nucleus. It was a very very well tested AIO. So it'll be interesting. We actually have some numbers we'll be able to test it against. Thank you very much, guys, for Hype Train. Remember, level five, we give $25. We get to level 10, $100 cash. That's all we got to do. And then it all helps us from there. Yeah, Noct you're right. M Michael Braun, Noctua fans are great. They're going to be amazing. I just don't know how much better. The EK, I mean, like technology has actually improved a bunch since NFA, uh, NFF12 fans have come out there. And some of the fans that are on, like the D30s and some of the fans that are on, some of these AIOs are amazing. Not BMOC, what are you doing? You have kids. Dude, dropping it like it's hot, my man. Thank you very much, BMOC. Dropping 20 gifted subs right there. Um, you know, it's funny, we actually have different people who are in the, the list for the thing right there. Thank you very much, BMOC, for that. I think that gets us, Hello. there we go. You were like, I'm just done with this. I just want to watch more building, right? That's what you were saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you're. Yeah, let's get past the ads. Yeah, you just the ads, Roby Tech ads. Um, I will <laughs> say, <laughs> you're so right. Actually, that's the sad part. Um, the uh, the other thing I will say is, yes, you're not. You're right. You can't go wrong with Noctua. I'm just saying that it, I do know that next year we have a bunch of new Noctua coolers coming out. So the replay, the uh, upgrade to the D15. Um, and so some other ones that are coming out there. Plus I've heard rumor is they're actually going to have new fans. Um, so it'll be interesting to see because it's been a while since we've seen a refresh from Noctua. Um, they've just been at the top for a long time, but we'll see, we're gonna, we're gonna go from there and go from there. What's up PC guy? So guys, four minutes left. Remember if we get to level 10, which it's at level seven, if we get to level 10, then we give away just hundred dollars cash. Yeah, I know it's like the D15 is awesome, but I've actually been really enjoying things like uh, the new ones from, uh, from, um, uh, from people like Deep Cool, we have the thermal right now, which is like, you know, what is it? How much does the thermal right cost? It's like six bucks, and it like cools like a 4090 and 14900K, and it just goes on with some like sticky glue, but it's amazing. Um, I don't, you know, it'd be funny if they make like square fans. Uh, I don't know why the, the Halloween. I don't know why it's Halloween. I'm just playing the the normal the normal um, the normal playlist. Yeah, I know, the Deep Cool, and honestly, the other one that's actually really cool, which is gonna get dethroned here pretty soon, is the MA824. Remember, that one was actually pretty cool, too. Okay, let's start building, guys, uh, this, 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 this rig that will be no RGB, except for it'll have, like, a white light here, and then the white on the, uh, the actual <coughs> GPU as well. That's, that's all we'll have. So which, which Noctua fans were you talking about? So we have NFF12s on the, we have NFF12s on the AIO, and then we have NFA12, A14s on all the other places except for the exhaust fan. And so he's taking a look to see how they, how they, how they compare. <clears throat> okay, here we go, guys. 
Yeah, you know, Simami, the SWA fans, the one thing I think is kind of funny about the SWA fans, as much as I actually really enjoy them, you just have to make sure when you finally finish your build, you gotta move the magnets a little bit, but then they, they light up and they do great. We're gonna be doing some SWA fan builds at DreamHack Atlanta. Um, so we will, if you guys are gonna see some of the SWA fans and the Lee and Lee fans down there when we do some builds down there as well. Guys, two minutes left. We are at level seven. Remember, level 10, 100 bucks to whomever they want it. Can you turn up the text a bit? Yeah, I can. Can you guys say hi real quick, Bmock? Hello. There you go. I turned them up louder. And yeah, those EK fans are better than the NFF foil. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> you know, Bernie, I just, you know, I just keep it going. Hey, Kambi Asama, thank you very much for the gifted sub. The PC guy doing one month to Max Bunny. Uh, thank you very much for that as well. One minute At and 20 max seconds. RPM. They're going to be about six decibels louder, but yes, they're a little better than the Noctuas. Well, we're going to do the Noctuas because that's what he wanted, right? But I was just, you know, I, I might just keep the fans because it's, you know, keeping around good, good fans is always a good idea. Org is very loud. Well, you can't win every, I, I can turn Org down individually. Hold on one sec. Oh, that's, I actually had him turned up. You know what? It's from like back when you, okay, there you go. I got you a little bit quieter now, Org. Okay, cool. There you go. <clears throat> and thank you for the 200 bits. Guys, 50 seconds, we can just get that last 40% and keep it going. Okay, there is our Wi-Fi. <clears throat> yeah, it's always the, the biggest plus for Nox was the performance plus the uh, noise level is a lot lower. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, again, you can't go wrong with that. It's just how quiet they are. But even that, like, I mean, it's funny because, like, the thermal right, like, which we did a bunch of testing on, you know, based on your feedback for us to go take a look at it. Um, there's a lot of fans that are, ca they're catching up, and it doesn't feel like there's been a lot of releases from Noctua uh, in the, in the, rec yeah, like, I don't even know what a major one outside of some refreshes for AM5 and um, LGA 1700 that Noctua released this year. We are waiting on a refresh from Noctua, but we honestly have no true idea when it might come out. Yeah, that's- They have the... a new design. Yep, and I've heard that, you know, that was supposed to be out last year, and then now rumor is this year, and it, yeah, there just hasn't been a whole lot from them. So, there we go. Uh, the Pro Arts, we don't see a lot of these components on the channel, but definitely one of the better motherboards if you don't want to have any RGB at all. The thing was is that Pro Arts used to not have any RGB headers on them at all either, but they actually have three RGB headers on this. The one thing that's also nice about this particular motherboard, we have three USB connectors, um, but one thing I did notice it lacks is number of fan headers. So you actually only have five fan headers on this versus some of the other kind of like more gamey boards, which are more focused on cooling. So uh, just some, some things that are a little bit different, but I do like the design. Um, uh, it's a very, like it, it's not gonna be something, whatever we put it in, it's not gonna make a whole lot of, it's not noisy if that makes sense. It's, it's very subdued in terms of how it looks. Jimmy Kabax, thank you very much for the tier three sub. There we go. There's another one right there. Another three points going towards the uh, Prime Plus, uh, six points going towards Prime Plus. <clears throat> What's, oh, so it's just a refresh. Uh, X670E versus X670. Um, there was just a refresh in that. Uh, I don't know, BMOC, what else came up with the E versus the base level X670s? Do you remember? Uh, pretty sure it's just Gen 5 support, right? Yeah, that was, there wasn't a whole lot. The X670E has dual chipsets for more bandwidth for more devices on the board. No, oh, there we go. So there we go. So a little bit more and then PCI-5, right? Yeah, I think I think they all, the B50E, the X670 and the X70E should all have the uh, full PCI-5 on those. But yeah, it's like, like Or said, yeah, they've got a cool chip. But I usually just skip the X670 uh, non-e-boards. Um, and recommend either a B650E if you want to save a little money or just go all the way up to x 70 Yeah, yeah, I know. Same thing. We, I very rarely, it's funny because I don't actually, we don't use a ton of X670Es uh, on the channel. I mean, because it's just like for most people, they don't need what they provide. You know what I mean? So, okay, here we go, guys. It's not going to pop or anything. Uh, RAM, 
Uh, Icy Sniper, we haven't actually had you ever guess before. What do you think RAM click level is going to be today? Uh, I'll go 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. So that's, so what, no, but we need it between 0 and, a, like, usually it's between 90 and 100 decibels. What do you think? 93. 93. Ooh, he's giving you guys an easy one, guys. He's going 93 today. Let's see what happens. Let's see what Last happens. Last time you said it was easy, we didn't make it. I know. <laughs> And this is, this is non-RGB RAM, which means obviously the clicks are going to be quieter. <laughs> well, the other day they were pretty quiet too. This is an ASUS board with Chisco RAM, so I'm thinking IC Sniper is going to be pretty close. Okay, well, there we go. I mean, these boards aren't, these, these boards are flashy in a different way. It's all for the content creator stuff. They usually have higher, higher level DACs. Um, and then obviously a lot more support, a lot more IO. I mean, dude, just check this out. Look at the amount of IO on this MOBO. I mean, that's a freak, like if you're talking three, look at, that, look at all that USB-C. And then you've got two uh, LAN plus you've still got, what, seven uh, USB-3. It's, I mean, it's pretty crazy. What's up, Noble Gamer? So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be playing with a new tool set. Not obviously not on this build, but on the next one, we're gonna be playing with GPU Tweaker from ASUS. I had a really cool meeting with the ASUS team, showing me all the features about why we should use it versus MSI Afterburner. Um, so we're gonna play around with it a little bit and let uh, give uh, give um, JJ some feedback. Have either of you guys? Have any of you guys used GPU Tweaker from ASUS for overclocking or anything like that? I found the OCD from the GPU tweak program caused an issue with games to crash. Oh, okay. But that's not a good thing. So no, that's not a good thing. So that'll be that'll be good to that'll be good to find out. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll try it. We'll see what happens. Yeah, the mobile stuff is actually pretty cool. And then the comparison between there's some like really good things in terms of being able to directly look at your OC versus your non OC and some things like that, which was actually pretty nice. Um, so there's some there's some cool tools in there. I didn't know it caused instability though. Yeah, it, basically the OSDs usually do a code injection, which can cause games to become stable, and why games block hooks for cheats, etc. Oh, which is why a lot of people like to use the Reba Tuna stuff and everything from uh, MSI. Yeah, yeah, they tend to be whitelisted or at least known, so they block them. Yeah, the thing that's important to me is like, obviously the OSD is actually probably the most important thing for what we use, because we don't do a lot of overclocking. Um, but we're gonna do some of that stuff. We have some water-cooled builds coming up in December, so we're definitely gonna wanna do some overclocking and stuff like that. So it's not just about the, uh, the, um, the OSD. Okay, here we go, guys. Three additional, in, uh, three additional NVMe slots on this bad boy too. So that means you can do four N.2s uh, on this board. And they all have, uh, you know, thermal pads at the top. Took me a minute to remember, but I do remember my GPU black screening when I tried the automatic overclock with the GPU tweak once. So that wasn't great, but that was a while ago. So yeah, the, the one thing is I know that it's been in like the, the more recent version has been in closed beta for like a year and a half. So, um, so it's just one of those things that like uh, they've done a bunch of stuff first before the li latest version came out. So it'll be interesting to test us with, we'll play with it. Price of what, J-Wax? But Maybe I could use- The board? The price of the board, I, you know what, it's funny, how much is the board? Does anybody know off the top of my, uh, off the top of, I know we have the links. Looks like right at four ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, it's not a cheap board. I mean, it's a content creation board, so you got two full PCI 5.0 M2 drives, uh, 10 gig LAN, two USB 4s, which are very similar to Thunderbolt. Yeah, it, not to mention multiple USB on the MOBO. You've also got like the the better DAC for audio and all sorts of stuff like that. Okay, here we go. It's that time, guys. Click time, let's see how close Icy Sniper was. Uh, ICU LOL, it's uh, VIP slash TDK deals. We'll get you a link to that. They're actually the sponsor for today's stream. 
Okay, here we go, guys. Getting that click in. Got to see what we end up with. Oop, I forgot to put the uh, top part on. Do either of you guys? I all my points. Oh, you did. Do you? Do you either? Do any of you guys have a Gen Five NVMe drive? As far as I know, the only person in the Discord that has one is Smoke. I have one in. I have one in my. Uh, I have one in my my a AMD Tiki, but I was wondering if anybody else had one. T50, T500. I just realized, I, don't, I actually don't know very many people who have them. Icy Sniper, when are you gonna do an upgrade, do you think? Uh, maybe next year. Okay, so soon. Okay, here we go, guys. We got the clicks. We're going for 90, 93, right? Let's see what happens. Sure. Ninety-three point seven, I see. You may uh, you may want to go to Vegas today. <laughs> that is that is really close. All of it. Ninety-three point seven. Like only within like we we did get it, only on one stick. It was not loud. The average was ninety-two point nine. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there you go. You, uh, dude, you have to say, man, you're pretty good at uh, guessing uh, guessing decibel levels for RAM clicks. I'm pretty sure there's a big future in that. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like OnlyFans with OnlyFans. Yeah, exactly. You know, I don't know if you guys ever know this, but we actually did start one of those, and we had taken like a bunch of just beautiful B-roll of fans, and then brands asked us not to do it. So, because they were like, it's like a gateway to, I mean, you know, unfortunately it's a gateway to pornography and that's not very family friendly. So, but it was pretty, it's still pretty funny. We had like Noctua, we had done like Lee and Lee. We had a number of them. They, we had like a whole content plan and it was like, okay. Oh geez, it's like dried on there. We gotta do, we gotta do what's safe guys. Sticking in the world of Noctua using Noctua thermal paste today. Cleaning up our lid a little bit so it doesn't stick. So Icy, what are you gonna upgrade to? If you if you did an upgrade, what, what would be your components? Like what would you be your... Uh, your uh, options. Honestly, I'd probably go something pretty simple, like 7600X and, and uh, honestly, a 6700XT. Nothing super fancy. Oh, really? What is your What is your primary use for your PC? Is it gaming or? Yeah, I use it for gaming. Uh, the 13 year old uses the uses it the most. She plays Sims and Roblox, so. Yeah, so you real you need a super powerful rig. 7900XTX, 7900X3D, 820 gigs of RAM. That's that's what you need for Sims, right? I mean, enough mods, right? <laughs> yeah, that is true. Okay, guys, just getting. I didn't give it enough thermal paste. Went a little bit more. What did I do with the thermal paste? Like, I I went over here, and oh yeah, I just randomly put it over here for no reason. Guys, I might be on drugs. Please send somebody for help, guys. What was it this time, Ruby? H1 or H2? It was still H1. We did order H2, it's on its way. It's like, it, it gets the shipping timeline for H2 is like super long. So I will switch to H2. I ordered some big tubes of it, so we should, it should last a while. So we'll be using NTH2 moving forward, but this is H1. Mo uh, the mod mods my mods or whatever it was they actually sent me a tube of their thermal paste so we can do like a I was gonna do like a one of these ones where we'll like live test it when we have like a simple air cooled build or something like that to see if it actually improves temps but 
I like this one, it's just easy to spread. You could also grab some of those thermal pads too. Be nice and quick. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Have those, uh, like, have those, like, historically done very well? The thermal pads? They do okay. Not always as good as the best thermal paste, but right up there, so they're fine to use. Thermal Grizzly is, I mean, Thermal Grizzly is a fantastic thermal paste. If you're going to do Thermal if you're going to do Thermal Grizzly, you're going to do what's, what I call the connect the dots method, um, which is where you go dot, dot, dot 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 because it's not going to spread very well so you'll make sure you get the entire IHS so I, I have no problem with that and there's just something there's just something therapeutic about getting to spin uh getting to uh to spread it so I haven't I actually haven't used oh he's I haven't actually used it I haven't used thermal pads ever um so I know some people who have, but I've never done them. Oh, I see what you're saying, Sam. Yeah, I've never used them. Oh, I didn't know you had to cut them, so they don't come pre-cut. That didn't sound if, right. If you don't cut them, they do crack sometimes. So that takes away the reusability. Ah. Here we go, guys. It's that time. Justin Roby has a show. And on, on his show, show he feels. Oh man, my my voice is shot, guys. With the dad joke, <laughs> I'm screaming. A zip tie there, RGB, I'm gonna let RGB, I'm gonna let Pig Radio RGB, cover it today. Justin Roby has a show. I've never seen pads, but I'm anti-pad. Matt Heave says, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother. I've never seen them. Not. I'm just. I'm out. It's too much. It's too much. Too newfangled. He's like an old grumpy man. Why would I do something? Why would I change? Okay. I actually really like how easy these are to install. They've done so much better. These AIOs are so much better than they used to be. Maiden doesn't have to get mad at me anymore. I like everything from about these, like how the open box experience is actually really great. Um, We're gonna grab our, and then this is the this is the little box full of all the hardware, which is awesome. That's, but you know, it's funny. I have to say, and I don't know, Beamlocker, you guys have uh, an opinion, but um, there has to be something about the cogs for the cost of all the packaging. You know what I mean? Like, there's definitely packaging uh, did not help make these cheaper. Oh, that's right. You got to use that special. So there's the AM5 one. Okay, let me grab my book because this actually requires, this is actually a little bit tricky. When are they going to put the AI and AIOs? That's kind of funny. It's a good question. Not not an not a not a bad question. I'm I would not I would guess not too long from now. Okay. So we want the AM5. And this just proves guys it's okay to look at instructions. Okay, so first thing we're going to do, so you guys can see it. You can follow along with the instructions here as we are going to remove the bracket here. Ooh, my, there it is. What's up, T-Man? How are you? Tomorrow's your 23rd birthday, huh? Well, happy early birthday. I would sing to you, but my voice is gone. I mean, some people like really dig looking at instructions because it almost, it, it's like something to do without doing the installation, you know? So there's a little bit of entertainment there.
I see sniper. I don't think I see sniper said that. He doesn't seem like the individual who does much of that. Okay, getting a little hydrate there. I want cake and hot wings. Actually, that sounds pretty good. The cake wasn't a lie, it was just really stale. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get these screwed in. Pretty straightforward there. And then they have a little tool that it comes with to do the other parts for it. T man, I, I my honestly, dude, my voice is shot. I was at an event yesterday, and then. Uh, um, for kids uh, and doing a fourth and fifth game night. And uh, I was an MC and a hype man. And it's really, it really is, yeah. If you come back on, if you come back, I know it'll be post, it'll be one day later. If you do it on Thursday, I'll do it for you. But I can't do it today, man. I'm not kidding, my voice really is shot. <clears throat> okay, let's tighten this down. Cool little tool here. Not that you need to do any more, but we can check it, check it. There we go, there we go. Okay, all tightened down. That is what we have thus far. The rest of it we'll do later on. There we go. Put this away for now. This is gonna be, I do not think there's gonna be a ton of cable management here. When you have so little RGB, this build is not gonna take a ton of time. Yeah, there's only like, the only RGB we have on this build today is just from the, is just from the GPU. Everything else is completely dark. It's a, it's a blacked out. I did not see your message, T-Man. There we go. It does your head in after a while. 11 out of 12 what? Oh, 11, 12, that's your birthday. I don't mind it, but it, I think it depends on where your PC is, right? Like my PC is in my, my PC is, T-Man, no, not today. I can do it on, I can do it later on. My voice, dude, seriously, I can't do it. I really cannot sing. I don't know if you can hear, my voice does not sound good right now. <clears throat> so you can have your birthday song, you can have your birthday song next week. All right, so we're good there. Everything is in. There's the MOBO, all blacked out, ready to go. Everything is prepped. Let's go ahead and get our case up. There we go. Okay, time to start getting this taken care of, getting this case down to where it needs to be. Ugh. I've got the lights up a little bit more, guys, so you guys will be able to see it a little bit better. And we will not be removing the middle panel for today, but if he wants to remove it when he gets it in, because we have to ship this. So I know you can remove this pillar. So if he wants to remove the pillar, he can. <clears throat> there we go.
Now we shouldn't actually, usually you guys will notice like when I do these builds, I'll do a lot of like removing the, the drive trays and stuff like that. I don't expect that to be that big of an issue for this one because honestly, there's, there's not gonna be a lot of cable management that I have to worry about uh, for this. So I, I think it'll be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and just take some time to get our fans in first. Okay, let me get this out. And we'll get all of our Noctua fans in. Oops. There we go. And then we will also grab here in the front. So we're gonna do intake on the side, intake on the bottom, exhaust in the top. Uh, if, you, if you're okay with getting a little bit dated, I mean, Black Friday obviously and Cyber Monday are gonna have some deals, especially because we're coming into the latter half of this generation of uh, GPUs. Um, so you'll get some deals. The other place that you can sometimes get deals is when, um, when you get, when they announce a new generation, there will be some price drops. But the other thing too is you have to remember is that they will stop building uh, they will stop building the current generation of GPUs. Um, and then, the, so the prices will, and the other thing too is, I will tell you, AMD and Nvidia try to very hard to protect how much they're selling their GPUs for. So there won't be a large drop. So usually around big sale times like Fantastic, um, Prime Day, um, Cyber Monday, stuff like that is usually the best time. Blondie, I've already done both uh, hydrate ones. Uh, so I did that twice already. I've done a number of hydrates already. I'm now wondering if Blondie's watching the show. I even called it out that I was doing the hydrate. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so here is, oh, thank you very much. I'm, I'm just kidding, Blondie. Uh, I just like to, I like to keep you on your toes. Okay, so here's all of our fans. <clears throat> these ones we're gonna be putting 140 millimeters on. So these are NFA14s. <clears throat> yeah, I know, Sergeant Nobody, you can definitely tell, right? Guys, it, I'm not. I'm not sick. It was just. It was just. I was doing a lot of yelling and having fun. Igor, what's up, my man? Guys, I'm getting super excited about DreamHack, dude. It's gonna be so much fun. Those 140s are gonna look nice and nice and sweet in there. Right now, the hardest GPUs to get are 4090s. Even 7800 XT, even 7800XTX even have become easier to get now. Uh, Lila, I mean, we're guessing that the next 50 series uh, won't be. Hey, PC guy, thank you very much for the tier one sub, dude. That helps us going towards. Remember, guys, driving to Partner Plus, we need tier one, tier two, tier three recurring. That'll put us in the top 1% of uh, a Twitch people which is pretty cool. DreamHack is in December. Uh, I was gonna say um, 50 series, we're probably over a year plus away. That we're gonna have, the rumor is, and what we expect to see is that they'll have either the super generation or they'll add additional TIs, but it's gonna be a while. Looking like they're gonna make that announcement on CES in January. Yep, which I will be at guys. So we'll, I will be there and I will have all that information as soon as we go. PC guy, thank you for the tier one gifted sub to Ghost. And if you want to help with that partner plus thing, guys, remember, all you got to do is just convert, just set a reoccurring tier one sub. 
We need 350 total points. So that's what we're driving for, which gives us more promotion on uh, more promotion on um, Twitch, and it does a bunch of stuff for us. Which it also it also helps with the uh, the revenue cut and some other things. And uh, we would be like the fastest to convert from partner to partner plus. <laughs> So that's, we're trying to go a little bit of a, a record there, some pride there in our, my community. Thank you very much, Sergeant Nobody, for the five gifted subs. One more and we hit 50. <clears throat> okay. First set of fans. Let me make sure I'm gonna put this in like that. Yeah, okay, so we got them in the right direction, okay. And I don't have them the right way though. So that's important. This is the one thing I'm bummed about is that this, you're gonna have like the ugly, and there's no way to even like, even the fan things are gonna be upside down. Only way to do it guys, unfortunately. Sergeant Nobody dropping another gifted sub. At one point in time, had had scissors. No idea what happened to him, guys. Uh, B mock, did you come and take my scissors? Can't answer that. <laughs> he plays the fifth. <laughs> I can't do something that's self-incriminating. It'll be a forty ninety. That'll be in this, I mean, the build will have a 4090. The one we're putting in today is just so we can finish the build as a 4080. His 4090 comes in on the 16th. But you will be able to see visually how it looks and everything. The, the dude, Strix 4090s have been hard to buy. They were, I, I can somebody confirm they were in stock this morning, um, the overclock ones. And I don't know if they still are. Um, but they were this morning. If you want a Strix 4090 and they're in stock right now, you should buy it right now. Just saying. Because I do know they will not be coming back in probably for the rest of quarter one. I mean, quarter four. Yeah, they're trying to ship everything they can to China before they get cut off. What BMOC said. Are they still in, they're out of stock? Okay, so there it was. It was in stock this morning. So they sold out this as of this morning. And reports say it won't be until spring that we actually start seeing stock come back in any big numbers, if at all. Now the rumors on the 40, uh, 4080 Ti though are pretty promising. Yeah. If, if, uh, price that's rumored uh, around a thousand dollars that would be huge uh, I think they'd take a lot of people off the needing a 49 they'd have to they'd have to um, they'd have to drop the 4080 though too I mean an oh, eight, remember sure. remember how happy would people be with like a like an 850 or 799 4080 It's better, but honestly, it really needs to be down around 700. Well, leaks were putting the 4080 Super at closer to $1,000, so they do need to do some price adjustment, yes. I'm excited, too, to see what uh, how AMD responds to it with their stuff. Yeah, I don't, I just, you know, the thing is, is you're not wrong, Icy. I just know that they, they won't make it that cheap. <laughs> I didn't say it was realistic. <laughs> no, I'm just uh, like, I'm like, it's like, I agree. It just, I'm at, like, I'd be happy. Like something tells me it's going to be like 850 or like even 900. You know what I mean? It'll be something dumb. And you're like, what? But uh, I don't know. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for a, uh, I'm hoping for like a, like an $800. If it was 800 bucks, I'd, I'd be pretty happy. It's kind of like, it's like gas prices right now, right? Like, it's like, dude, I'm like, I would, it should be, it should be 299. <laughs> It's like seven dollars here now. Well, if 
it makes you feel any better. It's two ninety nine where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, not here, uh, Sergeant Nobody. That that one is the uh, that is not that is sold by a third party. It's not that card is twenty three hundred bucks. So that tells me it's a third party. Without going to the diatribe of the full history of the twenty series supers, they basically tried to match or undercut AMD then too. So we'll see what happens. We will. The thing is, is AI is like both the best thing and the worst thing to happen to NVIDIA. It's the best thing to happen to NVIDIA, but the worst thing to happen to NVIDIA freaking fans. Because he just, that's where they're selling everything. I mean, honestly, with inflation, I don't, I don't think 800 is a, a bad price for the 4080 Ti. I think that's probably about where it should be at this point. Maybe closer to somewhere between 750 and 800, but it's not a bad price. Yeah, we'll just have to see what they what, what actually happens. At least what the leaks are claiming is the 4070 Ti Super will be closer to 800 to 850. That's kind of weird. Well, I mean, are they just going to discontinue the 4080, though? I mean, they did that last time, yeah. remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. stopped making their 40 series GPUs for the AI cards a little while back. Yeah. Okay, there we go, guys. Man, you guys have the best gas prices. Ours are literally $6.99. It's like seven dollars here. Inside sources, we just got finished doing a really cool build with that. Your gas prices are trying to encourage you to ride a bike. Well, they, they, they make me happy I drive a Tesla. That's for sure. Yeah, where they live, it's pretty good. I'm at about four dollars a gallon. Okay, these are gonna go like this as well. I'm just glad I don't pay for the gas for my EPS truck. Oh, dude, I I would not be, I would be happy too. I do 20 gallons a day. You're like the, you're now the, like, so you work for UPS. I did not know that, I see. You're the second person now who I now works, who, who I now know works for UPS. Yeah, I started in September. Nice. One of my best friends works for UPS. He's very happy there. And I'm very good friends with our UPS driver. Obviously, with the amount of packages that we get, we're on a first name basis, UPS and, uh, and the FedEx guy. <laughs> get close to getting your own truck, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. I mean, it's, it's it's like one of those things, like when I don't get, they they like come and check, they, they will stop by the house anyway, uh, the studio anyway, because they'll be like, they'll be like, hey, are you okay? Like, we just want to make sure that you didn't order anything or you weren't expecting a delivery today because it's just weird when you don't get any deliveries. B mock, I'm really angry you took my screwdriver. You took my scissors. I mean, how else am I gonna clip my fingernails? <laughs> I think you forgot allegedly. Oh, sorry, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I forgot allegedly. Sorry, B mock. You gotta be careful driving those light. Recent cops have been pulling over more electric cars and they're getting charged with battery. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> That's pretty funny. I like that joke. Good one, Sergeant Nobody. Yeah, we, uh, we, uh, my, my daughter's first car is a Tesla, um, just because of all the safety stuff, but she's like really happy. She does not have to pay for gas. Thank you for all the subs, guys, over on YouTube. It's good to see people following there. Coming up on 300,000 now. 
Well, if you charge your car during the peak rates, you're probably paying just as much for your electricity, though. My radiator fans will be facing, uh, my radiator fans will be set for exhaust, so they'll be facing normal. These are both set as intake, is what you're seeing right now. So these are the intake fans for the build. What'd you say, Org? Sorry. I was answering a question. With the power, there's rates for different times of the day. So during peak rates, you pay more for power. So if you charge your EV during the peak times, you're gonna pay more. Yeah, but we have a, we just have a battery. So we are, we have it, it charges off, but we don't, we charge off, we're almost off grid. Um, I think total, by the total cost for driving this entire year, so total cost they spend on energy this entire year was $1,000. That was it. So it's like an average, like an average charge is like, so that tells you, I mean like, and we drive, I mean my wife, that's us driving our car pretty, yeah. It's like two, it's like a third of the cost until you basically get to uh, having to replace the battery. But now uh, Tesla batteries, if you want to replace the battery in like a Model 3, it's like $7,000, so. Okay guys, there is our fans all installed. Commencing Pretty... Tech broadcast Oops, checklist. sorry. Computer... <laughs> the fans hit the button, sorry. You're like, wait, what's going on? It's already started. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, let's go to side here. Okay, we will run these through the grommets. That's something that's actually really nice about the XL. is they have the grommets like strategically placed, which is nice. There we go. Okay, first set of fans in. I think I need to like, I think what we need to do is like, maybe what you do is you use like a cricket and create a sticker that could make these black would be ideal. Noctua should sell something like that, you know? Okay, these are gonna go right here. There we go, okay. I muted and deafened on Discord, what? How did I do that? Testing, oh. That was weird, I don't even know how that happened. I hit some magic button, I guess. You hear me okay now? Yep. Wow, that was weird. Thank you for letting me know. I'd be like, wow, why didn't they like talking to me anymore? Yeah, it got really quiet and I asked you a question. I never got a response, so then I was like, hmm. Hmm, something's question. wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I want to create, I think it's like, I might actually have us go figure out and create a, 
cover for these. So like you could do like black or whatever it was, something to cover these fan. I mean like this, I have no problem with how this looks. It would just look better if it was like some sort of cover to cover the, uh, like the ugly cables. All right, guys, all of our fans are in, except for we're gonna put in our rear fan real quick and that'll be the last fan for now. And then we'll get to our, putting our motherboard and all that stuff in. There we go. All right, let's get our exhaust fan in. Boom, boom. It's kind of unfortunate that the, I wonder if these grommets are different sizes. I don't think they are. Are they the same size? They are. So the, the grommets that come with this, I kind of feel like I need to take the, I might need to take the grommets off because I want the, we want all the brown. But we're there. The the Chromax ones come in black. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check something real quick, guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I have an A12 that is with the brown. Got to see what not two of fans we have here. A12. But these are the grays. They're gray, not brown. Is the F12 brown? It should be the same grommets, I believe. You the could F do a little surgery with the grommets. The F12s are black. They don't actually include the brown. I have so many, yeah. I'm gonna try and see what else we got back here. That's a good question though. I'm getting to so many fans. The Chromax ones are, I wonder if, okay, here, hold on. These are industrial. I think these are brown. Yeah. So what I could do, here, this is what we're gonna do. Figured it out. I'll just change, I'll make all his brown and I'll change all these to black. <sighs> so he can get what, so he, so he gets a uniform look, you know? That's what you want. Yeah, I'm kind of partial to brown. Yeah, I think if you're gonna do Noctua, you want that like little brown, you know, hint. We'll give, him the, we'll give him the white hint. It's the right thing to do. Okay, here we go. So here's an A14. But we're gonna do a little bit of surgery here. Make sure these look good. All 
I think you guys will find this funny. You guys are gonna, you guys ready for some something entertaining? I'm gonna show you guys something entertaining. This is one of those like. When you know you've installed a lot of, when you know you've installed a lot of uh, Noctua fans. <laughs> Yeah, I got a box like that just for that purpose. <laughs> just like all the all the rubber grommets. Noctua boxes make great little boxes for organizing stuff too. That's actually a good point. But you have to, again, one of those things that I know the packaging does not help with the cost of these fans. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, now let's give it the brown treatment. This is gonna take a little bit longer, guys, because we're just gonna give it the right, we're gonna make sure he has the right colors and stuff like that. Since it's got AMD in the video, we're doing red and green for Christmas, right? In what? Oh, the for, for, the, for the fans, no, just brown. Brown for you get poop in your stocking, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Brody, These are the did three. Did you include an adapter for this build for the USB 2 to USB 3? For what? You mean for the to plug down at the bottom? Yeah, because it has four USB A. The, the, you mean the headers on the MOBO? Well, it only has one USB 3, so that's why I'm asking. There should be, I mean, it's got the, I thought those were all, the, the thing on the, you're saying the headers on the motherboard are all USB 3? No, what I'm saying is the case has four USB. Oh, 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 oh yeah. No, I don't, I, I, I didn't. Oh, I see what you're saying. No. Um, I, can, I will probably order one. That's a good question. That's a good call. I forgot he had all those. We had those extras, so we'll do that. We'll get a we'll get an adapter. Can you can you put something in Discord for me so we can order that? His his build doesn't go out till the sixteenth. Thank you for the reminder. No, I did forget that. I remembered the header for the. I was like I was like wait what? I did remember the header for the. Uh, where's our cable? Oh, there it is. I did remember the header for the all the fans, but no. Okay, so here's our A12, which this is very short, okay. We're gonna have to do this. It's gonna have to be upside down. They did not really think about trying to make this look as pretty as it could. It's never been knocked to his focus though. It's just performance. All right, Roby, I'm gonna head out for the night. See you later, BMOC. Thanks for hanging out. Oops. Yeah, no. yeah, have a great night. That just fell, guys.
Okay, we should have plenty of room to put this just right in the center. There we go. Definitely not as easy to get in as the silver ones. There we go. There we go, perfect. Okay guys, all the fans are in. We're actually in good shape. Okay, let's get our MOBO in and all that stuff. So we can finish out the build. Top down. It's all about just making it look, it's, it's about performance on this build, guys. There is that creator motherboard. The brown actually kind of brings out the little bit of the, the gold that's in here. Yeah, the exhaust has to be a 120. The 140 does not fit. It'll be, the, the AIO will be exhaust. Yes, it's intake, exhaust, exhaust. Okay, here we go guys, let's get this screwed in. There it is. All the extra stuff, depending on if you decide to do, like depending on what you decide to do from a, for a 120s or 140s, like what we have. And this does have a integrated sag bracket thing if you wanted to use them, it comes with a sag bracket. We will not be putting it into this bill, but we will like when we he, when he he can use it if he decides when he gets there because we always ship GPUs outside of the case to make sure they arrive without breaking. Okay, screws. There we go. Here we go, guys. Time to get this secured. Thought this is your build? Mm -hmm. 
You guys enjoying the show? You guys enjoying the build and everybody having a good time? No, no we're not going to force that. Getting the last of these plugged in. Two more. And right there, there we go. Okay, all of our fans are in. I mean, all of our screws are in. We're good there. Oh, really, Lord? Oh, nice. Okay, so we got, oh, I forgot one. Looks like I forgot a screw, guys. Go and hit those likes on YouTube, guys. 116 of 250. Remember, 250 we give away $25 new gift card. Okay, there's that. Okay, let's get our front panels in. Front panel connectors. Ugh. First zip tie of the build going in. Let's go to side view here. see that there we go okay just trying to make sure that stays nice and low so you can't see it where is there. And first zip tie of the build done. I'm gonna get this a little bit lower because I feel like this is gonna stay low. So you can see okay a little bit better. Okay. So we have, now let's go and run all of our front panel connections real quick. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm just getting all of the cables out over here. Right now I'm just getting these like extra, they have these extra, let me show you top down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. They're like the cables. So these right here, these cables are the cables that go with like the, these go with the GPU, with the hard drive tray. So I'm just shoving them into the hard drive. Because 
me. So that way they're just out of the way. There we go. Okay, so that'll get those out of the way. So now we can start running side cables here. Okay, so we'll need our USB 3.2. No, that is belongs up here. This is not a USB 3.2. This is a SATA cable. Okay, first we have USB C, which I think is right here. So it's at the top. So we want to run that down. Takes a little bit of extra work, but ends up looking much better if you do it this way. Okay, there's our USB-C. I mean, sorry, USB-3. USB-C. Run that down. That's gonna go out right here. There we go, USB-C. Okay, there's that. Now we have a second one. I think we only have one connector. Yep, we only have one. So for now, we'll leave that one alone. Yeah, that's why I brought up the USB 2 to USB 3 adapter. I'm actually surprised given how expensive this doesn't have two of them. Okay, so there is a single RGB. And a very large HD audio, which you do not have to use the extension for, but we can if we wanted to. Okay, so there's our HD audio right here. We also have a slight HD Light USB. This is the only RGB which is just to the case. The other thing we need is a front panel. Where's our front panel header? There it is. Front panel header. Okay. So there's all of our front, there's all of our cables. And then we have our, we'll work on running and running all of our fan stuff here in a bit. I'm trying not to get these cables twisted up here. I want to keep everything looking clean. Okay, it looks like we're nice and clean now. Okay. We have this one, this one, and then the top one, okay. All right, so here we go, guys. Time to connect our side panels, our small, our connections. So first we have our USB 3.2, that's gonna go right here. We've got our USB 3, slightly twisted, but that's gonna go right here. Very easy to plug in, which is nice. There we go. Nice and clean and small. We have an HD, uh, sorry, a single RGB, that's for the case front which the little bar is gonna be white, but he can change it to whatever he wants if he wants to. We have an HD audio right here. A 
And then we have our front panel, which looks like we can actually run it out on this side. Okay, front panel, single front panel connector. It's gonna go right there. Okay, so there's all of our connections in terms of that stuff. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna do a little bit of cable management work just to get this cleaned up, simplified. So you have one fan header, this is our exhaust, that's gonna come out there. These are all gonna run to a fan Five of these are gonna to run to a fan header and then the other ones are going to not. So I'm, what I'm gonna work on here is just getting, I want this to stay down. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect this real quick. Okay, that's our RGB. This is our, this is to our, okay, so what I'm just trying to do is keep things untwisted right now. Okay. This we can actually have go up into this thing right here. Make that easy. Zip tie this down and just kind of get this, this under control. So we're gonna just zip tie this down. This is all of our like bigger, thicker cables like HD audio, all that sort of stuff just to make it look nice. go. It's all about making it look pretty right now. I think So I'm gonna have this one fan, this'll be the, this. so we have five fans. So I'm gonna run that fan out. The rest of these are actually going to hook into a single, so I'm gonna actually have these run up and then hook all of these hook up into a single fan header. Uh, like we have a fan splitter. That's just gonna be right over here on the side. Cause I think that'll look best. Got to be smart about how this stuff runs. Hey, any idea if uh, if or when the Incomparo? So Build a Bear, they're going to be in the first week of Je December. We just put the order in. So you just pay, if you're on the Roby Tech Insider, that'll probably be the way, subscribe to the Roby Tech Insider, that'll be like the best way to know, because they'll come out at the same time as the Roby Tech Insiders when we'll put them on for sale. Come 
All right, there we go. Okay, so there's our things. Let's grab our little So right here, here we go. These are all our fans here. think of the best way to make these look nice, but I'm not really sure what that's gonna be, guys. right there. There we go. Set it and forget it. Yeah, guys, the 50, like 50 series is a ways away still. We have like the, we have new 40, we have a new version of the 40 series, like updated ver refresh of the 40 series coming out first. So that's the rumor anyway. We'll have to kind of see what, actually most of that stuff we'll probably know in January. CES is the next time to kind of see all that, what's actually gonna happen. Okay. So now we have all of our three, all but one of our fans in. So we'll have two of these kind of come out. I think there's two side ones that we're gonna do. So that's that's our bottom one there. Figure out where this is gonna go here in a minute. And the only thing I have left is I have a little bit of RGB here. We can actually have this go to the bottom here. Sideways. There we go. Might be the only cable in here, but it's still. Hold it down nicely. Wish all RGB and builds was this easy to manage. Okay, there we go, guys. Pretty simplistic in terms of K 
cable management. It's amazing what RG, no, having no RGB does for simplifying cable management. Okay, what do you guys think so far? Looking clean, pretty simple. We'll still have the all the PSU cables that'll kind of come out on top of this when we're done, so that will also help. I am gonna quickly, because this is the right thing to do. I'm gonna run this one cable the right way here. so it doesn't pop out the wrong way. Okay, side view. Needs a little bit more cable here. Okay, cool. So now we have everything into a nice, clean. Nice, clean, like channel system. Okay, now we're gonna see where our, our fan headers are. There's one right here and then one up there. So this one is gonna come out by this one and this one's gonna come down at the bottom, okay. So right there, and this is gonna come out by, so go back to top down. Here. And then we can actually run this under here, keeping things simple. Okay, guys, there's all of our cables. We'll zip tie this one down once we get it kind of hooked up and then we have one PSU cable. But nice and clean so far. Gonna run this up like this just to trap it. Looking good, right? Yeah, there's definitely no room in that. You have lots of room here to to put cables and all that sort of stuff. Oh, at AZM, we're not done. We're not, we still have, all we've done is, we're out, We're about to do the AIO. You still got time, man. You haven't missed it all. Only thing we've done is put the MOBO in and and connect the fans. Where's your, you haven't missed much, okay? Don't, don't freak out. You got, you got more coming.
Okay, there is all of our cables. And then this, remember the GPU is gonna come across here. So that'll actually cover these two. These two should be completely covered. So all you'll see is the USB-C. You won't even see the USB-3, so. Okay, cool. Let us, I think it's AIO at this point, right? Pretty much AIO at this point. Okay, cool. Guess what I could do? Maybe the smarter thing to do. Hold on, let me do one thing. I'm gonna go to side view here. I think I'm gonna reroute this one cable. Have it go like this instead. I think that's gonna look better. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, build is looking nice and clean. Let's get our AIO built. Like I said, the GPU will cover that. We got rid of this other dangling one, so all we'll see is that one cable. These we just had come go back to like a straight cable here. This makes the most sense. Give us a little bit more length here. We'll do 90 degrees on those. All right, cool. Let's get our AIO ready. Okay, pulling that out. Uh, San Diego, it just comes down to the Noctu, I mean the Noctuas are I mean, they're both amazing fans. D30s are a bit thicker, um, uh, but and uh, but amazing fans, right? So it's really kind of a personal preference. Yeah, I know, Smoke. It ended up it's coming out really, really nice. Okay, guys, AIO time. Now for real, Justin we're gonna put it together. He has a show. And on that show, he builds PCs. A I A I O. A-I-A-I-O. Wow, my With voice. A dad joke here and a zip tie there. R G B, R G B, and Bondi Bikiki. Justin Roby has a show. A I A I O. It only fits a single 120. I'd have to change the whole uh, the whole thing for that. So it's just a, a single 120 is fine. You're not gonna get. You're talking about when we did the testing on that. It was like a very very minute difference in performance. So we're just doing a single 120, Dylan. The most important thing is the other fans. Okay, so he is not using these, which these are actually really good fans.
The most important thing is just to feed the AIO, right? So I don't think having a, having additional exhaust and pulling air through, you're, I mean, what we have set up is gonna be great for the overall temps. Okay, time to finish this out. There we go. There is actually one in the back too. Give me that really clean. Oops. Getting out all the extra stuff here because we'll not be using the box. Put the box away. I really do like these new AIOs from them. Guys, don't forget to go hit those likes, hit that YouTube, hit those likes. There's over almost 400 people here right now, which means we can hit those likes really quickly. Head over, there's a link, direct link to it and the Ute, to the YouTube that gets that done, guys. There we go. And I'll go through the parts here in a minute. Let me just get this out of the way. We'll do a, we'll do a mid, mid build, like talk about the parts we've gotten here and all that stuff too. What's up, everybody? Uh, I am Roby Tech, AKA uh, Just Roby, and today we are building a absolutely stunner of a build, but no RGB, no RGB whatsoever. So here's the parts we're putting inside of it. We have the uh, AMD Ryzen 9 7950X. For the motherboard, we're using the ASUS ProArt A, uh, X670-E Creator Wi-Fi motherboard. For the graphics card, the ASUS RG Strix NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4090 Overclock. That card is on its way in, so we're gonna see a 4080 in the build today. It looks the exact same, but that's the build. That'll actually be what's in the build, uh, so you can see the final version. Uh, for SSDs, we've got six terabytes of NVMe storage, WD SN850 Xs. For the RAM, G-Skill Flare, uh, Flare X5, 32 gigs at DDR5 at 6,000 megahertz. For the case, Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic Evo XL in black. Uh, we have the EK Nucleus CR360 Dark AIO, and then the power supply, we're using that brand new Asus RG Strix or a 1000 watt edition. Uh, it's, it's the new one, it's got their Gen 5, uh, sorry, their PCI 3. So we're gonna be able to check that out. Now, a couple things, uh, we do have some giveaways that are gonna be happening during the show. The first one we have unlocked, which is a $25 new A gift card. If we get 250 likes over at youtube.com slash uh, we'll also give away a $25 new A gift card. And we've unlocked a $50 new A gift card over on uh, a $50 new A gift card as well. Let me update that to start going towards the next goal. Uh, we are working on Partner Plus. So for those who don't know what Partner Plus is, uh, Partner Plus is top 1% of Twitch streamers. Um, the way that we basically get that is tier one, tier two, or tier three reoccurring subs. Hold on. We have unlocked a number of them already. You guys have been so awesome with that stuff. 
We are still going towards the goal. We have to do it three months in a row, 350 sub points. We were at 109, 109 sub points as of before the stream actually started. Um, it unlocks things like better promotion. It gives us a, gives me a bigger revenue cut. Uh, and at the same time, you'll see me uh, like higher up on the overall Twitch streams as well. So it does help us and I can't do it without you guys, the community. So we're driving towards that. So if you could, it's 21 bucks for three months. You basically drop it in. It'd be a huge help towards us. Plus it gives you so many extra giveaways, things like like this beautiful uh, sub only PC giveaway that we're giving away. So you're gonna get entries to that. If you subscribe to tier one, you get three entries. Tier two, you get five. Tier three, you get 10. Um, and then on top of that, we also have a Be Quiet giveaway they were doing. And if we give, if we hit those goals, uh, Intel gave a 14900K. If we hit month two, uh, AMD gave a 7950X3D. And at level three, we actually give away a 4080. And we're also building a Twitch custom edition uh, PC. But we gotta get that three months in a row for all those, those prizes to unlock. So if you could, I would appreciate it. Just drop a sub. Tier one, it's just gotta be a reoccurring. And again, tier three gives you six points for that goal. Tier two gives me three and tier one gives me one. So you guys could be amazing. Unfortunately, Prime and Gifted do not count for the Prime Plus. It has to be uh, reoccurring subs at tier one, tier two, tier three. So Prime and, but Prime and Gifted, you're injured for the sub giveaways and all that sort of stuff. But in terms of helping towards that Partner Plus, they do not help, unfortunately. So it would be amazing. I would appreciate it if you could. It's only three months uh, and then you can go back $21. That's all I'm asking. Um, and uh, that would be a huge help. So anyway, back to the show, back to the stream. That's what's happening. Uh, and now we're gonna get back to our building. So uh, going back to top down. Let's get our fans in. So we're gonna do, so I'm gonna do this way just because it'll give some more visual breakup of this build given that there's no RGB in the fans. Okay, so we're gonna do, we have to do some weirdness guys with the, cause we wanted the brown fans and they only come on the industrial version. So we have the Chromax ones here. Thank you much Squirrel Breath for the tier one sub. Bernie Gaddix wanted to unlock a thing, so thank you very much for that, dude. I wish Market did count, but it, unfortunately, it's Twitch that makes the rules, so which is kind of lame. You know what? I'm just gonna use these. Why not? Let's use the industrial ones. They won't run it, so they can go up to 3,000, that's fine. industrial I don't think but the thing is they can go up to they don't have to run them at 3,000 but I mean given there the AIO and I can't do a 420 on the top um, the I'm gonna just run them at this way so they'll be fine thank you Bernie for the hydrate Did you guys see? I saw somebody. I saw somebody do a, a a sub, but I didn't see it in the the thing. Did you see the sub? I saw the sub happen, right? Or no? Yeah, they're PWM. These fans are better than the ones that are on the AAO. Yeah. I think this one. I got this other one in here. Okay, let's grab this one. Thank you, Squirrel Breath. That's amazing. I really appreciate that. All that stuff helps, guys. And again, if you do tier, if you do, hey, thank you very much, CMR. If you do tier two, then that's worth three points. If you do tier three, that takes six points. So I only need like 68 tier three or 150 tier two or 350 tier one. So if you can, then anything helps. But I really appreciate all you guys doing that. You guys are really, you're rock stars. Thank you.
So these are better? Yes, and considerably louder. So you could make sure you include the low noise adapters if you have those laying around. So they could add those plus doing the BIOS or software fan curves. Yeah, I think we'll just do a soft a fan curve that's like basically, it's only a like super high end that it goes in there. I mean, he, I mean, it's really like a gaming PC anyway, so he'll never hit him, but yeah. They're brown, not orange, but yes, you did see brown though. Hold on one sec guys, I'll be right back. Trying to keep things organized here. Okay, here we go. So if this is gonna be on like that, then we want the fans to be like this, okay. Yes, it is, in need of temperance, that absolutely helps, yes. If you, if you, can, if you do it and, it's a re, and it renews, then yes, that does it and it's set for a new one. Thank you very much, guys, for all the help. I really appreciate people doing this. It means a lot to me. Um, and I thank you for the, the kind of support that we're getting. It's, yeah, I couldn't do it without you. Okay, here we go, guys, getting these fans in here. Where are the, where, oh, there it is. I was like, where's my, oh, there it is. I was like, where's my fan? Oh, I need a temperance, thank you. <laughs> Tur dog, thanks. We can do it, I know we can. I know we can, I have like 100% faith. Yeah, I have the Chromaxes. They're not. There's no orange in there. They come with everything. They don't not come with orange. Yeah. You're very welcome, coaster guys. Just for a rough idea, these are about a hundred CFM and 7.6 static pressure. Yeah, they're very powerful. Okay. Oh, they're, oh, you know what? This is gonna need a, this is gonna need a uh, adapter. Oh, actually, no, I'll be able to use, oh, I got that other splitter, I'll grab it. Okay. They're basically one of the most powerful fans you can buy right now. Center it right there. And this case does support up to 420 millimeter AIO. Unfortunately, there wasn't a, a 420 version of this AIO. Still a great AIO though. So it should, and in terms of managing a 7950, it'll be great.
Do I have spare Noctua fans? We have quite a few spare Noctua fans. We always have, we have a lot of fans in stock, just so if for us to be able to do stuff with builds. Uh, the radiator's too thin for push-pull, actually. Um, I will say, w when you do push-pull, you want a thicker radiator. Push-pull actually causes, you'd actually have to change and create custom fan curves between the top and the bottom, or you end up uh, actually harming the uh, cooling capacity of the AIO. This one's actually probably a bit thicker, so this actually might be okay with push-pull, but most of them, most standard AIO radiators, you can't do that. Definitely has the room for it, I guess. But I don't know if you need it. Uh, like that's the thing is like this uh, as far if if you wanted to add it you could you just don't need it um we actually so uh she did pass that along we're actually going to start posting some of that stuff uh for sure so we do have, like, we actually have a bunch of stuff that's about to go up. So uh, I was talking to the person. We have a person whose job is to basically work on getting rid of that stuff. And so uh, you guys can look for some of those things uh, in terms of uh, we're trying to figure out how to do that in need of temperance for your request. Okay. So this one, all it has is the fan thing. That's all it, that's all it really needs, eh? one thing guys Okay, had to grab, I didn't know I needed one of these, so I grabbed one anyway. Okay, and then what we can do Okay, that takes care of those. Okay, let's get this built now. Let's get this up onto the, into the case. Okay, here we go. <sighs> 
Oh no, wait, wait, wait. No, did I really? Oh, guys. I'm an idiot. I put this thing on backwards. Good job, robes. Okay, well, at least all I gotta do is replace the top plate. Can't believe I did that backwards. At least with the wow stick, it makes it fast. Yeah, GG, Roby Tech. Once this is in, guys, the rest of it actually goes pretty quick because all we have is PSU and GPU and extensions, which do not really take that long. Okay, now it's correct. Okay, let's put this back together. Fast as fast can be. You'll never catch me. I'm all about showing people that it's okay to make mistakes. All you do is you take a deep breath and then just slow, you know, it's like, it's just about being okay with slowing down and doing it right. Like even showing you guys, like I'll do stuff like take, like stop, run a wire easier if I see it, you know what I mean? It's just about paying attention and, and being okay with the pace of, you don't need to rush a PC build. You only get to build a PC once. You know what I mean? Unless, you know, sometimes you do rebuilds and stuff like that, but you might as well enjoy the experience, you know? Going through it fast isn't gonna mean anything. Take your time, enjoy the process. This ends up going a little bit smoother. I would argue a lot smoother, actually. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Thank you, Vanilla Ice. Okay. Okay, let's get our We're going to getting our AIO mounted here. Top down. I think I might try. This is like wrapped into, I have to rerun that one. All right, here we go. Additional brackets, which I don't need. 
apparently I need a sets of screws and did they put, oh they did, they put them in here. which I need the little screws for the, need the little screws for the uh, pump head. I was not expecting, but there we go. Okay. Let's take now. Luckily, I mean, the AIO cover on this is like very well done in terms of the thermal paste. Let's get our thermal paste off though, because we've already got thermal paste. Yeah, it's got a lot of, yeah, yes, Noble. It has a lot of, uh, it has a lot of uh, USB 3 ports. It's a creator, it's a creator MOBO, so. Get our plate on here. Luckily, this one's easy because it just screws on, it holds itself, it makes this way easier than it. On some of the other builds I've seen where it's just like, geez. Deep Cool had the magnets, but this one, because it goes or grips around, it's it's nice and easy. Okay. And then you want to peel this before you put it on. I wish it was easier to peel, but it's not. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we got the big peel. We can actually do this right. Okay, we're good.
Hidden, what are, what are you talking about, hidden? This will go up this way. There we go. We're getting them on. Yeah, this is like in this build is gonna look great. Oh shoot, wow, that was not what I expected. I'm doing a really good job of not getting this screw in here. Okay, let's grab this. Okay. Let's grab a zip tie. Okay, get that in. Okay guys, that'll take care of that. Now we just gotta work on the rear. Pumps mounted, we'll peel the plastic here in a bit. It was, uh, this PC is $4,500 pre-tax. If you were gonna buy all the components. Okay, we can, we can go ahead and fill this. No, no, right, I don't know why it wouldn't right now. Okay. Okay guys, last little bit. Oops. 
Let's do it. Do that. All right, let's get the last little cables hooked up. Get our AIO finished, <clears throat> finished like wired in. Only thing we have to real wire in is, is fans. Okay, so this is wrapped in. So we're working on is just making sure that that grommet there looks good. We can run the rest. Okay, cool. Now let's put it on its face. All we really have to do is hook up the, all we have is to hook up the three fans to the three fans to themselves, which is gonna be pretty chill. Key thing here is we don't want that grommet to separate Build-A-Bear. Thank you very much for that. That gives me, that gives me another point towards Partner Plus. Thank you, Build-A-Bear. So what we're gonna do here we're gonna run this up and over so that way it stays up. Again, a little little attention to detail, things like this is what really makes these special. And it's something that like, you know, custom builds can do. And it, you know, let's be honest, it's nothing against SIs, SIs are, amazing and they, they do their job, but this is where little things that you can do from a custom build just to make sure that those extra levels of polish, right? It's attention to detail. So that'll make sure those grommets stay closed. Okay, and there's our CPU, all ready to be cooled now. <clears throat> there's only a little, the only light that you will see is from the front bar and then you'll see some RGB from the, uh, from the, from the uh, GPU, but there is, outside of that, there's no light, there's almost no light at all. So it's essentially a blacked out build. Okay, let's grab our snips.
we go. All of our fans look nice. It's like, again, very, very straightforward in terms of... There we go. Okay. Well, guys, we're going to get our cable extensions in, put in our GPU, and then PSU, and then that's it. There's not much. And the PSU should make, like, we'll go over this stuff, so it should make it look really, really clean when we're all set. So it should be a very nice and clean looking build uh, when we're done. Okay, let's work on extensions. What do you guys think so far? Okay. And we're doing black extensions both for the GPU and for the uh, and for the the, uh, the actual build itself. Roby, one of the grommets on the right fan on the AIO isn't in all the way. Oh yeah, thank you. There you go. Okay, continuing the blackout with black extensions. Well, my son who's been grinding Modern Warfare 3 like a madman. By the way, thank you much. Somebody gave me a $10 tip. Thank you very much for that, man. Thank you very much for giving me the tip, man. That's huge. That goes a long way too. Okay, what I do not need is GPU. Yeah, that's usually where they stick the designs and stuff for their boards. There's where that pro art sign is. But it actually matches really well with the brown. Okay. Okay, make sure that looks extra good. There we go. Next little bit. Is 
That'll be there. <clears throat> Jerry Dog, did you want to see the parts list? Is that what you're looking for? I can put it up if you guys want to see the parts list. Here's the parts list again, guys. Ryzen 9 7950X. We have the uh, Asus ProArt X670E uh, Creator Wi-Fi build. Oh, okay. Uh, we have the Asus Strix RTX 4090 Overclock. We have the WD Black SN850X 2 terabyte. We also have a 4 terabyte as well for a game drive. Uh, G Skill Flare 32 gigs X5. It's their non-RGB uh, RAM at 6,000 megahertz. We also have the uh, Lee and Lee Dynamic Evo XL, which is going to be awesome. Which is the build, the case that we're doing this in. And then we have the EK Nucleus AIO, the CR 360, uh, the Asus RG Strix Or Edition 1000 watt PSU. And then the other thing too is, like I said, we have Noctua NF A14 industrial fans and then NF A12 three uh, NF uh, sorry NF F12 industrial for the AIO um, for the cooling. Uh, Chad Bohms, he wanted the he wanted the not he wanted the non X three D. This is a commission build, so it's what he wanted to do. The X three D could do both, right? Because you can do both because you can park it'll park. So it definitely has the but this is what he wanted. Okay, there we go. Okay, guys. Can we donate to, uh, it's, uh, it's not, it's not my system. I, I mean, that was like a old school thing. I guess if, um, I don't know if the gentleman wanted to have 64 gigs. I don't have a 64 gig kit on me. Cause like I said, this is a commission build that we bought the parts specifically for what he wanted. I'm actually gonna grab one more cable comb. Yeah, this is a commission build, not for me. I have, uh, I have a number of PCs, so thank you though. I really appreciate that you wanted to take care of me. If you guys wanna take care of me, you know what you guys need to do, tier one, Tier two and tier three subs. That's what I need for the, to getting partner plus. That is the biggest thing you can do. So thank you for asking though. Okay, I'm gonna do this when it's out. It's just way easier when it's not on the. Yeah, if you can't see it, you definitely doesn't make sense to do a Thor. Cause that you're wasting the OLED at that point. Uh, there can be, yes. Depending on the application, yes.
Okay. Okay guys, extensions are in. GPU, PSU, and we're done. Then we'll go through our sponsor for day and then that's kind of it. Oh. Here's a top down view so you guys can see essentially what the build looks like, which is it's very close to finish. that nice clean move this Asia or so it's straight okay Now, like I said, this is a 4080 that we're putting in for today. The 4090 overclock will come in there. We did not add the sag bracket. We will. Um, I don't even know if you can, because it's like it's got to go to us in a certain way. We'll see how this holds. And definitely don't want to vertically mount this just because the vertical mount but obviously then take away from the blackout look I think they just did something where they upped the RAM. Like, they, you can do faster than 6,000 now. Yeah, I know BMOC. Yeah, there's some that you can definitely, I don't, it's not restricted. Yeah. 
We're gonna, I think if I ever do a build like this, like as a showcase one, uh, I would use a Cricut and create labels that would cover, like so these would be all black and covered, um, just so they, so you basically can't see these. Same thing on the bottom ones. So we might do that, just having some labels so that way it's just all black and brown. All right, let's do our 1K. We got one cable left. No, I think like you, I think I'd do a vinyl, like a, just a vinyl cover for it. I think that would look better. Get a vinyl that like kind of matches the, pla the black of the fans. Okay. This is almost like too short. Look how close I can get this down. if I might do up top on this one just to get it. Not the longest extension there. I think we're gonna have to put the connection back in the back there. So give it some what about the grommet directly below it? You have something going into. Oh, down here? Oh, that's a good call. That was, I didn't even think about that. Like down here. We go and give it some like yeah I think that'll work actually better the problem is it's just that the end of it is just not pretty so I might zip tie down at the bottom just to keep it from flaring a little bit but yeah Thank you for that work. I was blind to that one. In the most sense for sure. I 
I want to be careful about pressure down below because it's going to pull the card down a little bit. But if I did this build again, I would do brown and I would do brown and black custom cables. I think. Like a single brown like strand in there, you know? Okay guys, now we just got PSU and then we're done. Okay, let's get this. I'm actually excited to see, I'm guessing the cables in this, this PSU are gonna be awesome. Let's hydrate real quick. Okay, you guys are gonna see why I like Asus. I do like Asus PSUs and this is why. It's this cable right here, this uh, right here. Because these cables are so easy to cable manage. And this motherboard, this, uh, this uh, PSU is not that much more expensive than others. In fact, the, the, the 850 watt uh, um, Tough is like, the same price as most of the, and this, look at how, I mean, these cables are amazing. So. That was a big boy. Bigger than I thought it would be. Okay. Okay, what we don't need, Molex. We don't need that cable. We are gonna use that one. We're gonna use that one. We'll be using that. I actually think, yeah, we have one SATA, one CPU. These are not important. Okay. We have an RGB cable. Because it is RGB, I'm gonna do it so we can turn it white so it'll get a little hue out of the back. SATA. 203 or 250, guys. Over 400 people here. It's gold, I believe. Gold, right? Uh, can somebody look?
Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. CPU. Sixteen pin. Little RGB cable. Little SATA. And our MOBO. No. I was like, why'd you do that? There we go, one more. Okay, cool. Nice looking PSU, I'll be honest. Okay, let's get these hooked up. Should be pretty straightforward. And we're gonna make them look good at the same time. First thing I wanna do is just run this one cable. This is our RGB. I just wanna make sure it's connected for the thing. I didn't wanna forget it. So we're gonna run that over here. I'm going to connect it real quick. And then we'll do the rest. Ugh. Go to side view. Whoa. I think the hardest part right now about liking Asus parts is just the fact that they're out of stock a lot. <clears throat> All right, let's go to top down. Okay, so that'll take care of this. Might actually, hold on. Where's the power cable for this? This is the stuff I was telling you about. Sometimes it's just about making sure you still run things the right way. Even if it takes extra time, it just keeps, like it'll keep the cable forced down. So it's not pushing any rubber grommets the way it needs to.
Okay, let's get these last cables hooked up now. So first one we're gonna grab is our SATA. There's only a single SATA connection. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna Cables twisted. Okay. Actually, I think. I'll do this. Now let's go and use a zip tie just to keep that clean. We'll have all these go through this BUs down at the bottom. I think it'll end up looking a little nicer this way. Okay, next up, let's do our 16 pin. There it is. And what I'm trying to do is just create a nice, beautiful, like blocking as much of the, blocking as much of the other hit uglier cables with these. So like when you open it, it looks just nice and clean. Let's use our longer ones. Just one of the things I like about these cables from Asus, man. Okay, there's that. Okay, next up is our CPU. Again, just running this all the way down. The last cable we'll do is our 24 pin. There we go. There we go. Okay guys, and then all we gotta do is, that's it.
Build's done. Looks clean, right? There we go. I just want one more just to clean that little bit up. Just because you can see it. Okay, guys. There you go. That is it. All done. Okay, let's get our let's get our build together, then we'll do our we'll go through our sponsors real quick. Let's look at the front real quick. Make sure our build looks nice. Okay. There we go, guys. The crazy thing is, is it'll be hard for you guys to see much of anything because the build is gonna be so dark. Okay, just get our parts back on here. There will be some white light inside because of the GPU. There we go. There is our Lee and Lee blacked out build. Ready for the next step. We're gonna do our deals and talk about our, do our deals and talk about our sponsor real quick and then we'll get, we'll get to turning it on and then doing thermals on it. Which is all we're gonna do tonight, no Gameplay benchmarks because the wrong GPU is in there right now. All the excess is there. 
Okay, let's look at our how much zip ties we've used. I owe a dad joke, I think. Let's do a hydrate again and a stretch. Did a stretch and a G, so all we have left is a dad joke. There we go. And I'll find a dad joke here. Okay. Counting zip ties real quick. It's gonna be a little blurry guys, but they're there. Not a ton this time. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. There's five. One, two, three, four, five. There's 10. One, two, three, four, five. There's 15, 16, 17. It is e. It is odd tonight, guys. 17 is the uh, is the winner. Odd zip ties tonight. All right. Let's take a look at our sponsor stuff real quick, and then we'll get to. Uh, get to uh, turning this on and run some thermals. Little bag of Noctua parts. Okay. Ugh. So close. I like how somebody said so close. Like it was, it was odd or even, right? Like it was like 50-50 chance. I got them all. We'll be turning it on in just a second, guys. We just gotta go through our sponsor real quick, which is CDK Deals. Ugh. And look at our deal deals. Thank you very much. The build does look good. I'm excited to see it. There's not gonna be a whole lot that you guys will be able to see. I'll try and turn up the lights so you guys can see it a little bit better when we get to it. Instead of mood mode, because there's no mood, we'll go from there. Okay, so uh, let's say, for instance, you get finished with a build like this and, you know, you want to pick up a copy of Windows, you know, Windows 10 or Windows 11. Well, usually that's about $149 uh, if you were going to pick up a copy of Windows 10 Pro or whatever it was. But here at CIK, VIP slash CDK Deals, see right here, here's Windows 10 Pro for $23.09. Or you can pick up Windows 11 Pro for $31.89. Again, buying Win 10 makes the most sense right now. So you go here, if you hit, click on this. Hit buy now, and then you use code RBCK. Again, that's code RBCK, hit RBCK, hit apply. What was $23.09 drops all the way down to $16.16, .16, which again, dropping the price, literally you're saving almost, you're, all, you're paying 10% of the cost for a copy of Windows. Well, Roby, what about Office? You know, I'm getting ready to start Winter Corner or I wanna get a new laptop for my kids. Well, here's Office 2021, which you could, there's there's things like bundles like this, or you can get Office 21 Pro. Just go ahead and hit this. Again, use the same code RBCK at checkout. And what was, instead of being $100.62, you can pick it up here for $70.43, so saving yourself $30. And then if you were gonna buy that at like some other locations, it's like three to $400. So you're saving a ton of money uh, picking up uh, Microsoft Office. And again, if you have questions, literally thousands of people here in the chat and on the channel have used this. Um, if you have, they have great customer service. We've had a ton of people who basically use this system uh, and we uh, verified that they are legitimate code. So if you have questions, again, just ask in chat, people can let you know. I know people, tons of people have used them. So uh, that is, and we use them all the time too. So that's VIP slash CDKDeals.com. Okay, one only, only one other thing I wanna show you guys today. 
And that is uh, just talking a little bit about robitech.com. Hold on one sec, just waiting for it to load. So, uh, robitech.com. Uh, so things like build mats, which we have build mats coming in. They'll be in, in early December. Uh, if you want to buy, this is, we have our store and our merch and stuff like this. So like the jacket, et cetera, this is all the place you go there. Also, if you like to build, for instance, Turdogs, like I love this build. You can go right here to robitech.com. Here's all the parts. So everything's listed out for you. Uh, so you can just basically add it to your cart. Obviously we get some affiliate for that as well as a link to the video so you can follow along as best you can. Or if, and if, again, if you have questions, you can have our discord.gg slash robitech as well. The other thing too, I just want to let you guys know, don't forget about the Robitech Insider, which just came out today. This is a great place to kind of find out uh, what's going on. Uh, you know, for instance, like here's all the, the stuff we had as well as all the giveaways and all in one location. So if you want to find our giveaways um, or you, you're you just curious about how the, tri the trip is to Partner Plus, etc., the Robitech Insider, you can also get it delivered right to your email. Let's see what deals, but last thing is what deals does Tom have for us today? Here's stream deals for 11-11-2023. Samsung 980 Pro, two terabyte NVMe drive. Wow, on sale $119.99. That's a good price for the, the 980 Pro. Man, four PCIe Gen 4 NVMe drives just continue to just drop. Um, the next storage, uh, so next storage again, uh, next storage Japan internal SSD, uh, great for uh, PS5 and PC expansion. Um, they're on sale right now, $199.99 for a four terabyte. That is sub. That's like, you know how you were getting 119 for two terabyte, you can get here 199.99 for four terabytes, which is crazy. Uh, and it also works with you. It actually has the heat sink, so you can use that with your PlayStation 5. XFX Speedster Radeon RX 7900 XT, uh, on sale right now, 779.99. One thing I love about the Merc, the, the XX, XFX mother, um, sorry, um, GPUs is their SAG brackets are really solid. So if you're ever gonna ship a PSU or something like that, they have a really good SAG bracket for that. Madden 2024, I guess. It's on sale, guys. Uh, $39.99 if you're a big Madden fan. Uh, MSI GF series, um, really, really do like these laptops. They're solid. I really like the, the keyboards and the, the uh, monitors are actually pretty good. This is a uh, Intel Core i7 12650H with an RTX 4060, 32 gigs of RAM and a one terabyte NVMe SSD on sale for $849.99. That, that is a crazy deal. Wow, that is a really good deal on a laptop. Um, yeah, that's a, and the only two is you can upgrade the, you can actually upgrade the store, uh, the, both the RAM and the storage on those. And then the Elgato HD60X, if you're into game streaming, uh, it's on sale $164.99. This is like kind of the standard, uh, capture device they have it's it's a tried and true fantastic we use it here on the show all the time so anyway on sale 164.99 uh deals i'm most excited about right here in the middle these two the uh next storage and this uh msi gf series are both really really good um uh deals for um <laughs> for the price so there you go guys okay time to turn it on everybody say thank you thank you very much everybody say thank you tom Tom over here doing doing the Lord's work, getting us the best deals on tech. Getting us the best deals on tech. That's what he's doing here. Trying to make it better for you guys. Okay, let's throw that in here. Let's get this out of the way. Get out of the way, laptop. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna turn up the lights a little bit so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, let me know if it's bright enough. I wanna make sure you guys get a good view of this very, very blacked out. Now remember, we, Will It Post is happening right now. Ugh, it's very dark right now, but let's see if we can get some more light. What do I do with my, oh, there it is, okay. Let's get some more light in here. You can actually see it pretty well, actually. I'm surprised. Let's give it a little bit brighter. These don't seem to be, oops. Twenty-nine more likes on YouTube, guys. Oops. Okay, hold on. 
Just trying to get the lights up. They're being funky. Ugh. Let's get all of our, pull all of our cables here. Oops, I don't want to put that one in yet. There we go. Power. Ugh. I guess they're gonna be wacky. All right, here we go, guys. You ready? It's gonna be, it's not gonna light up a lot, okay? So we're gonna turn this on, and then three, two, oh, wow, that's okay, so there you go. And it is on. That's all there is to it. There's all, that's the only light is the, uh, is the, the only light we have is, is just the GPU, that's it. <laughs> that's all there is. We're just waiting. Okay, there it is guys, it is posted. There it is right there. Yeah, it's blinding, right? And it is ready for the next part. I can definitely feel the fans going already. Okay, we'll get we'll get the uh... Why 4800? What do you mean? There we go. I'm gonna go and try this. Spin this on its side. It's gonna take a little while. You guys can like, it's so funny, like you just can't see anything. It's like I'm showing you the side view, but it's like there's nothing to see. And there it is, guys. Now we are officially in, we're officially in, uh, with 6,000 mega transfer RAM now. Very little to see, but there it is. Yeah, all the fans are on. There's the white. There we go. Now remember, there will be a sag bracket. It's not really sagging. I might bring it, it might bring it up a little bit, but that, that's like again, a little bit, but there will be a sag bracket in there. There is something else I could do to basically bring it up if I wanted to, but yeah, it's it's like, it's it might be sagging, it's like barely if it is. You can't really, like with all the black, you can't really tell. Now that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw our glass on it.
Because we got to see if uh, we got to check temps. There we go. There is your build. Let's get these last likes, guys. Let's see how temperatures are here. So right now, here we are, sitting at 43 degrees. Let's throw up our Cinebench here. Now, we've now we haven't got to do a Cinebench 2024 run with a, with a 7950X. Oh, spinning up real quick right there. Okay, here we go, guys. This is worst case scenario, not gaming. This is just worst case, showing you what the temps are gonna be like here on the 7950X. This is a nucleus with, um, uh, obviously not to a fans, so we'll see how this goes. Again, 7950, I, I, I just need to stress this. The 7950 likes to get as hot as it absolutely can because it is trying to, and it's determining, so you're looking at boost clocks and all that sort of stuff. That's what it's going to do. So it is going to definitely get into the 90s. That's just what the CPU does. It's all part of um, the uh, intelligence behind the CPU. So if you see it jump in there, that's what it's supposed to do. Um, you know, obviously you can cool this beast even more, but again, this thing tries to get to TJ Maxx. That's what, that's, that's, a, that's actually per the design. So it just lets you know, okay? Here we go. So even if you see again, you're like, it looks, it's not. It's doing, it, it, you're basically gonna see higher Cinebench scores when you do this. Here we go, multi-core CPU. Now, if it stays below 90, then this thing is kicking butt. Cause if it's like, again, it's trying, it's going to try its hardest to get to 95. So this, this is cooling very well, actually. That is actually really crazy because this CPU usually just jumps to 95 and uh, then it's doing boost, but this thing is just keeping it cool. There is no light in this at all. Like it is dark. Got to 91. So it's definitely warming up a bit. Clocks look good. Look at that. Like, I mean, dude, we're, we're like up at 1,803 points right now. Yeah, it's like like when you look at it, you're like it like you're like I, it, it is here. There is actually there actually is stuff in parts and components in here. It's just all blacked out minus the white from the Republic of Gamer, and then you can see here from the front, you can see the white from the light. That's that's it. That's all the RGB you actually have in this build, and you can actually, if you wanted to, turn those off too and have nothing.
Okay, so it did actually, on one CCD, it did actually hit max. But again, that's what this thing's trying to do. Look, you're actually, the thing is, that's why the score keeps going up. Oops. That's why the score keeps going up here, is that it is, it, the clocks are actually going up. Yeah, the memory's running at 6,000 mega transfer, yes. Look, it's still going up. It's still pushing, see? That's what I love about this chip. So it, it will continue to go up because it'll keep pushing core clocks higher because it has room. So we're starting to see. So it's gonna, it's gonna, it looks like it's gonna hover around 2,100 points. The Hey Iho has nothing. There is nothing on this at all. It, there's no light, no RGB, no nothing. It is the whole point of this is to be almost RGB less. So he has no light whatsoever in here at all. It's supposed to be as black as possible. So it's pretty much all blacked out. There's no RGB on the there's no RGB on the fans. There's no RGB on the on the on the PS uh, sorry on the the RAM. There's not I mean like outside of the post lights there's no RGB on the on the uh, Mobo. Like it's just dark and black and brown. And he can turn, yeah, he could turn the aura off on the, he could turn off the, the RGB on the AIO and it would be gone too. There actually is a little bit of light coming out of the back too because the uh, there's RGB on the um, PSU, but he could turn it all off and it would just be completely darked out. Yeah, Blondie, what are we at? How many have we gotten today? Staying in the low 90s, it'll sometimes pop up, but again, the core that this thing is, is this this build is essentially given the 59, the 7950X like all the room it could possibly want just to do what it can do. So can you wait? We got 41 tier one subs today. Or is that how many? We got eight tier three subs today. That's all today. Oh, yeah. But the thing is, is that the the gifted subs don't. If somebody gifts subs, then that'll consider a tier one. It has to be the tier one. You have to do the tier one other ones. So yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work actually. Sorry. I should have told you. You have to pay attention to the tier one. Um, they have to be. They can't be gifted. They can't be prime. Those are considered tier one, but they're not tier one. It's all good. So the tier. So still though, eight. So even if you did that, let's say I don't know how many. I don't know how many we did. Eight times six. And then we have, how many tier two did we have? So that's 48 points right there. I know it's hard guys. Yeah, it's, it's annoying. So just as a reminder, as we're waiting for the last little bit of this, we're gonna do giveaways. We're gonna start giveaways in just a second, but guys, we are going for partner plus. Uh, we just made partner two weeks ago. Um, we have to get 350 sub points uh, in for three consecutive months. Uh, it's just $21 for people to basically do it. They subscribe for three months. Uh, it's gotta be a tier one sub. Now you're entered to win awesome PCs like this amazing sub only PC we have back here. We're doing a Spider-Man one for the month of November, December. Um, so you're entered to win that stuff. 
Plus, if we get it each each month, we get the goal. Uh, Intel, AMD, and Nvidia have given us some awesome swag. So one, we're giving away a 14900K for if we get tier uh, the month one. If we get to month two, we'll give away a 7950X 3D, and if we get to month three, we give away an RTX 4080. Plus, we're making a custom Twitch themed PC that we will be giving away. That's a high end build. Uh, and so that's what we, but we have to hit three months in a row. All you gotta do is drop a tier one sub, a tier two sub or tier three sub. Tier ones are worth one point, tier two are worth three and tier three are worth six. And we have to get 350 total points. And so I'm asking the community to just help us out. Uh, once we do it, we're good for a year. Um, and so I, it's just something our community wants to do. That, like the Twitch team rated us with uh, like 200 staff or something ridiculous. Um, and so I uh, just really want to basically do this. It unlocks new, um, it unlocks uh, new um, uh, revenue shares for me, but it also gives me more opportunities and it puts us higher in the promotions for Twitch and stuff like that. So it actually helps us grow our community as well. So if you can, uh, just pop on over. Uh, if you got a prime sub or a gifted sub, convert it to a tier one. Uh, it would be very, very much appreciated. Uh, you know, we're trying to make this as awesome. And thank you so much to everybody who did sub today uh, uh, or converted, etc. You guys are amazing because we just want to make great content for you. So I appreciate it. So, um, is there a PP PCPP list? I don't see one on the Robotech build. What's a PCPP? Oh, part picker list. No, Trixie. If you go to if you go to Robitech and Builds, all the parts are listed there. GPU too bright in my eyes, huh? Okay, guys, so it basically, it topped out at 94.1. We have about a minute and one minute and 42 seconds left. So yeah. Yeah, you can just go to Robitech and all the build is listed there. The AIO is actually pretty cool. Like I've actually, we've tested them before. We actually did a review on these, not on the dark ones, but they're very, it's a very well rated AIO. So yeah, um, it's, a it's a fantastic, uh, it's a fantastic um, uh, AIO. Um, it's just expensive, but again, you're paying for like a lot of the premium that is comes from EK, yeah. Okay, let's do the dad joke real quick. I promise you guys that. While I'm doing the dad joke though, uh, we're gonna give away our $25 new A gift card. So exclamation point community guys, exclamation point community. $25 new A gift card up for grabs. Remember if you are a, 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 a um, Subscriber, you get extra entries on all of our giveaways. There you go, it goes $25 up for grabs. And then I will find a dad joke. Even though Bernie asked for it like at the beginning. Sorry, Bernie, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> I like this one. And we're waiting for the last thing. Can anybody tell me what oblivious means? Because I have no idea. <laughs> my fr <laughs> oh my gosh, this one's amazing. My friend couldn't pay his water bill, so I sent him a get well soon card. <laughs> that one's good. Uh... Oh my gosh, that one, that one is the best one. Oh, that one's so good. That's, that's good. Get well soon card. Okay, waiting for this last render to done, to be done guys. And then that is it. Waiting for the fast, the last render to get done. So getting this last, looks like it's gonna be about two, right around 2000 points. Dropped about, dropped a little bit over the, uh, the course of the whole thing. Uh, we start. I think we were at the highest. We saw 2160. Uh, now it's dropping down to around 2,000-ish. Uh, but here we go. Last render and finally ending at uh, 19, 1954, guys. There it is, right there. So again, we saw it again. Just understanding these CPUs, they like to kind of push it to as warm as they potentially can. 
um, and then uh, it push it up as warm as it potentially can, trying to get as much to 95. Wow, and then it gets really quiet. Uh, getting up to 95, but again, you're seeing that, uh, you're seeing it basically push those clock speeds and all that sort of stuff. Um, this cooler did a great job, plus there's plenty of airflow in here, uh, and the build came out absolutely awesome. So cooling good, um, you know, performance is gonna be awesome, and then lack of RGB, at least you got a little bit of lights there um, to get some, uh, some additional performance, but that is our uh, 4500 Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic Evo XL build right there. So, and you can see here, I mean, like the clocks were definitely, definitely saw nice solid clocks uh, from a performance standpoint. It's not gonna be anywhere near this uh, when we get to, it's not gonna be anywhere near that when you're obviously doing gaming. I, I, I this thing is just gonna be super, it's already, you can hear the low hum, but again, we could set it to silent to drop those even down a little bit more. The fact that most of the fans are 140 millimeter, uh, 140 millimeter fans, like it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna have like a little bit of a hum, but that's gonna be about it. Um, congratulations to Elusive Shadow. Elusive Shadow, you are the winner of the $25 new gift card. Did we hit, wait. Blondie, did we hit the YouTube goal? I'm just asking, because if we did, just draw another winner. Okay, did we? Okay, go ahead and draw another winner then. Oh, well, why didn't you just draw? So, okay, we're gonna run that one more time. We're gonna run it one more time. One more $25 new gift card up for grabs. Exclamation point community, guys. Why does it say, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. No, sorry, cancel. Wrong one. Now the $25 new gift, yeah, you guys wish. Now a $25 new gift card is running. And then somebody had asked, somebody had asked with the, here, let's just, uh, let's rope task manager. Uh, somebody had asked what the, ra the RAM was running at. So there it is right there, 6,000 mega transfer, two of four, and then you've got, so you got 6,000 megahertz right there. There it is, guys. What do you think of the build? I think it's looking pl pretty fly, pretty clean. And it looks, it, guys, it, it, it looks good both in the front and in the back, of course, right? It just, it came out very, very nice. You guys like it when we do, uh, like, you know, you know, in the last, you know, in the last not so long from now, we've actually done water cooled, lack of RGB builds. We've done a bunch of different stuff, right? So it's been good. You guys have seen a nice variety. We have a, we have a couple of new cases coming up pretty soon. We have a, two new cases next week that we've never built in. So you guys have some new uh, cases to look forward to, which would be cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're called, um, they're called, oh man, I just forgot what they were called. Dual chamber, dual chamber cases. You're looking pretty fly, <laughs> pretty fly for a tech guy. Burm, 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 burm. Yeah, this, I mean, and the only two is because there's all the RGB, it's funny because like, you don't really need, you don't really see the, the post like you normally would because it's not all lit up. I mean, this this build is still gonna look really good when we do photos and stuff for it and B-roll. So we'll have some fun with lighting and all that sort of stuff to really kind of make this look sexy. <clears throat> okay, congratulations to Gren. Gren, you are the winner of the $25 New A gift card for YouTube likes and a YouTuber one, that's awesome. Congratulations, Gren. Okay, last giveaway. For the $50 Newegg gift card, exclamation point Newegg now, exclamation point Newegg now. $50 Newegg gift card up for grabs. Remember, uh, if you do the sub, uh, you, if you're a sub, you get extra entries. Okay, so let's talk about the what's coming up. So we are back on Monday. Uh, you know what, I just sent out the schedule. I sent out the schedule, let me bring it up. So Monday. Uh, I sent it out this morning. So Monday, we are back with a, oh, guys, actually Monday's gonna be awesome. We're doing an air-cooled, 
air-cooled build uh, in the uh, Ryzen with a Ryzen 9 7900X uh, in the Fractal Torrent using the AK620 Digital. So that's going to be a super cool build, also paired with an RTX 4090. So that's going to be a really, really fun build. It's going to have lots of RGB, so don't worry, that'll be there. Uh, very, very excited about that build. So that's going to be happening on Monday. Uh, then on Tuesday, we're going to be playing with the Cooler Master Cube uh, 500. It's one of those, like, you can build it all together. We've got a beautiful all AMD build in that one with both a 7900 XT, a 7800 XT. It's all white, should be cool. That's going to be a lot of fun. Thursday, brand new case, not announced. You will not, so you'll, it'll be announced on Thursday and then we're doing a paid stream on Thursday, thanks to that, so that's gonna be super awesome. Uh, Friday, we have the Intel Morning Show, and then Saturday, we're back with the APNX Sin C1. Uh, that is the color changing case, so it actually changes color based on the temperature, so we're definitely gonna be running some thermals and stuff on that. That's gonna be happening Saturday next week, but not at four at 5 p.m. because I'm gonna be checking my, watching my daughter's production show. She's in the Hunchback of Notre Dame, so that's gonna be happening sat, uh, Saturday at five next week. So you got one, two, three, four, four builds next week uh, before the break for Thanksgiving. I don't know what the Thanksgiving schedule is quite yet. I am actually gonna be in Minneapolis, uh, St. Paul. We're gonna be probably doing game streams, so that'll be probably much where those is, but that's what's gonna be happening. Now, guys, again, if you can, uh, thank you very much. Congratulations to the winner uh, for winning. Uh, oh, you can no longer enter the raffle. Let's see who won. Congratulations to PC Guy 8088. PC Guy 8088, you are the winner of the $50 new gift card. Okay, guys, so again, working on getting us to the Twitch Partner Plus. Please remember, we're also gonna be showing you guys on Monday the brand new uh, PC giveaway for the month of September, for the month of November and October, uh, November and December. It's the Spider-Man PC. So uh, please, if you can, convert your uh, gifted sub, your, your prime sub to a tier one just for three months. Uh, help us get over the hump. Uh, just, we gotta get through month one. So that's that's where we're working on right now. So, and we, we don't actually have as much time because of the Thanksgiving holiday and stuff. So if you can and you remember, that would be absolutely huge. Outside of that, guys, really appreciate all you guys. Thank you for the subs. Thank you to the community. Thank you for my techs and everybody for being here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Congratulations to the uh, commission owner, uh, David Jr. for winning, uh, for having this PC. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a great rest of your weekend. And we will see you guys on Monday. Bye, guys.